That might work. How is this you were self hobbled though when you didn't upgrade the tools? Diamond picks are slightly quicker. Oh, we're gonna use diamond this time. That was back before villages, right? So like I didn't really want to use anything that wasn't renewable because that's how I am. Like I But now, now that you can just trade for diamond tools with villagers, I am definitely gonna use renewable diamond tools from villagers. And you can get mending. You can enchant your tools with mending. And so like there's no such thing as non-renewable tools. So yeah, no, this place was gonna be different. <laughs> we are definitely gonna use better tools. <laughs> I'm just thinking, you know what? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, a lot has changed since the last time I, I did a long survival playthrough. A lot more stuff is renewable now, like there's been power creep. <laughs> there's been a significant power creep. I should put lights on this. How should I do this? Let me go ahead and... Put them up there, or higher. It's kind of too low. One, two, three. Not too many lights. Maybe not that many lights, maybe just like one there, one there, one here, and then uh, one down the bottom. Just make sure it doesn't block you or anything. Nope, that's fine. Alright, a big ass staircase up the steep slope. Cool. And then the path, we need to go back and continue the path the other way. I mean, now that I've done that, should I have a light here? Probably not. Alright, so the path, almost there, that's the bridge. One, two, three, one, two, three. strange there, but that's fine, I guess. That's slightly off. So this, over the ice, um, Over the ice is going to be wood planks. And then back to stone. I mean, I would do the same. I would do a similar thing. Like survival now, I would still like. I'll probably still use like stone tools until I can get an iron farm going, and I'll use iron until I can get renewable diamond going, and then I use diamonds. <laughs> so, so the idea of not using non-renewable stuff it's still gonna apply. That's still my philosophy. <laughs> Except this time you can like you can actually get past iron. <laughs> Oh, 
All right, so that that's that's uh. Oh wait, no. So that's it for the parts. We still have to build a little something connecting the station to the to the cabin. All right, a little hiking trail up there. That's cool. So that's done, and then here. What materials do we use here? We need to... This is awkward. We need to uh, get around this map and then have a little town square here. This is kind of in the wrong place. Oh, spawn's over there? Cool. <laughs> spawn. Igloo. Spawn is that way. Village is that way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is way, way back when I first mapped out the the world. Well, there it is. We are here. Oh, I should update the map, huh? Not that... It wouldn't show... It won't actually show the the stuff I built, would it? Wait, that's not right. That's in the wrong place. Two, three, wait, why is, is that not in the wrong place? Why is map one the bottom corner? I thought, what's this? Okay, that's in the wrong place. All right, this is, this is where we are. You wouldn't see the the stuff I just built here because it's too small. It's not visible on the map. Oh well. That does update this map as well, right? So I haven't touched these maps since I put them down. And you can see that they have been updated with some of the tracks where you, where you can see them. So the maps are linked magically. When I update the stuff in my hand, they also update here. That's cool, right? For some reason, you can see that line really clearly. And you can see that line really clearly. Okay. Do I do the same thing here? And... Do I, do I cover this, or do I use the slabs? I want to get keep the snow off the, the walking areas. We can use lights, we can use top or bottom slabs, or we can use a roof. If it's lights, it'll have to be a lot of lights. Probably mostly bottom slabs. Um, I'm gonna get rid of those. I mean, you can, you can see that in the distance anyway, so... Alright, let's say we have a town square here. And the town square, we're gonna have... Stone brick slabs. Nothing too fancy. And then let's say the town square... ...is... Maybe like that big. Ten. What 
is there to do in Minecraft? Collect at least one of every every item. Collect at least one of every animal, maybe. <laughs> Collect at least one of every hostile mob, is that possible? <laughs> How would you keep a creeper? How would you collect a creeper without it exploding on you? You'd have to block him so he can't see you. If he can't see you, he doesn't explode. So you have to like have blocks around him at eye level. <laughs> Obsidian. Like an obsidian cage blocked away at eye level and then you have to name him so he doesn't despawn. <laughs> uh, let's make the square a little bit wider. Now it says you can make a mob farm way high up, then move mobs into water tunnels. Cats will scare them away down another waterway. Yeah. I mean, that's how you farm the creepers, but what if you just want to, like, collect one? <laughs> not, not, like, to farm them, but just, like, put them in a zoo. You're being so practical, Hava. I'm talking about complete nonsense, and you're giving me a practical solution. <laughs> uh, Alright, and then a little bit fancy. Maybe like a <laughs> bit of granite or something. <laughs> I might do that. I might just make make a zoo <laughs> and keep one hostile mob. Can you? Is it possible to stop an enderman from teleporting away? Can you put an enderman in a zoo? If you put an enderman in a boat, does it does he, does he stay there? Does he teleport away? Anyway, we'll we'll find out. <laughs> granite is not decorative stone. What on earth is granite? Oh, granite is in nature, isn't it? They need to they need to stop this. Stone is here. Polished granite is in nature. Like there's construction materials and there's nature. How is this? I think endermen only teleport when in pain, i.e. sunlight hits them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, and, and also if you look at them and they get angry. Man, wouldn't that be something? Just like managing to keep an enderman in a zoo. <laughs> I think I think you can put an enderman in a boat and it'll just sit there. Um how do I do this? So we want like paths. Up to there, I guess we have a path this way. Skeletons. You have to stop the skeleton from shooting arrows at you. You can put them in, in a glass box or something. Um, 
and the rods. Well, no, let's use the lanterns. How is this? Apparently they won't teleport in on Soul Sand too in daytime. They won't teleport on Soul Sand? Man, that's... <laughs> How would you... Tr Could you like... I just like how would you like get the guy onto the soul sand? <laughs> would you like build a box out of soul sand and then just wait for one to teleport in? <laughs> Okay, we this exits that way. Let me just have that there. And then let's say one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Kind of awkward, no matter what. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, that actually fits quite well. Two, three, four. Kind of strange though. Uh, I wanted to face the other way actually. So they're not all facing in different directions. So that goes up there, that's fine. I mean, the snow is pretty awkward there. And then this goes into the igloo. Oh, can he walk in there? No. Right. How do I stop? Do that, don't I? Alright, that should be good enough. Path there, path there, and then finally we need to join this with this.